biofuel and ethanol. Biofuels are among the most promising replacement for non-renewable fossil fuels such as petroleum, coal and are derived from living organisms or from metabolic byproducts such as food waste products. Unlike other renewable energy resources, biomass or organic material can be converted directly into burnable fuel which becomes biofuel. Biofuels can be liquids or gases and are made from sugars, starch, vegetable oil or animal fats. Biofuels can also be solids like wood, sawdust, grass cuttings, domestic refuse, charcoal, agricultural waste, non-food energy crops and dried manure. The two most widely used biofuels are ethanol and biodiesel and both are found in liquid forms. Other liquid biofuels include butane, methanol, Fischer-Tropsch diesel and gasoline. Gaseous biofuels produced are hydrogen and methane. Ethanol is an alcohol fuel produced by fermentation of sugar found in sugarcane, rice, potato skins and is commonly made from wheat, corn and sorghum. Biodiesel is made from algae, animal fats or vegetable oils or recycled cooking grease. The biofuels can be produced in a number of ways. For instance, Ethanol is produced using a process similar to brewing beer, where starch crops are converted into sugars. The sugars are fermented into ethanol, and the ethanol is then distilled into its final form, which can be used as a fuel. Apart from fermentation, ethanol is also produced by the process called hydrolysis where materials that have lignocellulosis found in the tissues of plants and other organic materials are used. Biodiesel is made through a chemical process called transesterification whereby the glycerine is separated from the fat or vegetable oil. The process leaves behind two products, methyl esters which act as biodiesel and glycerine, a valuable byproduct. Another process used to extract biofuel is called fast or flash pyrolysis. It occurs by heating compact solid fuels at 350 to 500 degrees Celsius for a very short period of time, less than two seconds. Bio-oils are produced in this manner. Biomass can also be gasified to produce biogas. Hydrogen is recovered from it and catalytically converted to methanol or ethanol. The gas can also be run through a biological reactor to produce ethanol. Biofuels have been around as long as cars have. At the start of the 20th century, Henry Ford planned to fuel his Model T's with ethanol and early diesel engines were shown to run on peanut oil. discovery of huge petroleum deposits kept gasoline and diesel cheap for decades while biofuels were largely forgotten. However, with the recent rise in oil prices, along with growing concern about global warming caused by carbon dioxide emissions, biofuels have been regaining popularity. Ethanol fuel is the most common biofuel worldwide. It is the same type of alcohol found in alcoholic beverages. Though ethanol can be used as a fuel for vehicles in its pure form, it is usually used as a gasoline additive to increase octane and control vehicle emissions. 
Most transportation fuels are liquids because they're easiest to burn cleanly. Liquids meet the requirements of being both portable and clean burning. Also it can be pumped which means handling is easily mechanized and thus less laborious. Ethanol is most commonly used to power automobiles, though it may be used to power other vehicles such as farm tractors, boats and airplanes. It is generally seen that ethanol-only engines are tuned to give slightly better power than gasoline-powered engines. Ethanol has smaller energy density than gasoline. This fact means that ethanol fuel tanks required more fuel stops than the gasoline tanks to travel the same distance. The largest national use of ethanol biofuel exists in Brazil. It is also widely used in United States. Together, both these countries amounted to 88% of the world's ethanol fuel production in 2010. Biodiesel is a renewable, cleaner burning alternative for petroleum-based diesel fuel. In its pure form, it is the lowest emission diesel fuel. It is safe to handle and transport because it is as biodegradable as sugar. When mixed with petroleum diesel, biodiesel is compatible with unmodified engines, be it a car, bus, truck, boat, construction equipment, generator or oil home heating units. It also decreases toxic emissions. Biodiesel is the most common biofuel in Europe and since it is primarily derived from plants and animals, the supply can be replenished by means of farming and recycling. Biodiesel and ethanol are both clean, grow-your-own fuels which can be produced on-site in local villages or communities from locally available renewable resources thus making biofuels an accessible option to fossil fuels, both socially and economically. Apart from being used as an alternative to fossil fuels in power generation, biofuels have several other applications. Biofuels can be used for cooking purpose and as fuel for automobiles. Byproducts of biofuels can be used as manure and fertilizer. It can also be used as heating fuels in domestic and commercial boilers. Biofuels have their own set of advantages. Biofuels are derived from biomass that is renewable and biodegradable derived from organic materials. Compared to other forms of renewable energy, biofuel is far more simple and easy to use. This renewable source of energy helps in reducing the greenhouse gases as compared to the fossil fuels. Cleaner burning energy sources reduce the toxic pollutant emissions. Biofuel could provide significant environmental benefits by decreasing the greenhouse gas emissions because of the fact that these biofuels are primarily derived from crops which absorb carbon dioxide. Thus, the balance of carbon dioxide is sustained and maintained in the atmosphere. It is safe, non-toxic and not detrimental if accidentally spilled because it breaks down very quickly. Biofuel can be readily combined with conventional petroleum diesel in the fuel tank at any point in time and does not require special equipment or a modification in all engines. 
Moreover, it is capable of improving the performance of the engines as it is a quality fuel that cleans the fuel system, increasing octane and lessening harmful emissions, all of which help to lengthen the life of vehicles. Currently, commercial biodiesel is more expensive than ethanol and in the perspective of land use and agricultural efficiency, ethanol seems to be a good option as output of gallons per acre is relatively more. Biofuels are relatively affordable as compared to the other sources of energy. It also can create numerous jobs since it can practically be made domestically. Consequently, reliance on foreign sources of fossil fuels will be significantly reduced. However, biofuels are not devoid of some disadvantages. One major concern of wide-scale biofuel production is the increased need of growing crops to meet the demand Therefore, more farmlands will require. It would take time for biofuels to be readily accessible due to lack of ethanol or biodiesel pumps at existing filling stations. Biodiesel can liberate deposits mounted up on pipes and tank walls from previous traditional diesel fuel, thus primarily causing fuel filter clogs when used for the first time. The paint on the automobile may dissolve with the use of biodiesel in due course. However, this can be prevented by immediately wiping off or washing with small amount of soap and water. Depending on the type of fat sources the biofuel was derived from at around 32 degrees Fahrenheit or higher, biodiesel crystallizes. In cold weather, the biodiesel freezes the fuel system of vehicles. However, this can be taken care of by keeping it warm. To reduce the reliance on fossil fuel, conservation is the primary strategy. Biofuels can be a great alternative to it, but there is no instant weaning on conventional petroleum diesel. Though other sources of energy, such as solar, wind, etc. are still needed, but biofuel has a very promising potential. As an alternative to this traditional diesel or gasoline fuel, it is expected to yield significant energy security and environmental advantages to its consumers.